Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a good Easter weekend. It is bank holiday Monday, and Monday, if I've got any, is MTG Mail Day. Badge, bring on the mail. Thank you very much indeed. So we have a selection of goodies, EDH goodies. I'm building another deck. It's going to be amazing. I hope so. Badge thinks so anyway. So um, yeah, I have some goodies. Very excited to see what they are. Some trade sites have enabled me to get these and uh, we shall open them up and go through them. Now most of the stuff that I have in this deck I don't actually own so I've had to order a huge quantity and uh, it'll be interesting to see what we end up finding. So we'll start with Oh, we've got a very, very, very nice uh, bit going on here. Thank you very much. Right. Very nice uh, business card there. Ah, right, okay. Now this is even more interesting. This is one of my EDH cards, but not for the deck that I'm building. This is one for my mono, mono red neheb deck. And... Uh, yeah, quite excited to see one of these. We have Price of Glory. Whenever a player taps a land for mana during its another player's turn, destroy that land. Um, this could be evil. This could be very evil. Um, I tend to not do a huge amount of things in other people's turns. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to give this one a go. And uh, yeah, that is mighty fine indeed. Right, so this should be the uh, Golgari goodness. Let's have a look. And there seems to be quite a few in here too. Yep, very, very nicely put together. That is um, solid, look at that. There is no escaping. Oh my gosh, this is really well done. I better make sure I don't actually cut cut the cards. Here we go. We are in. Oh, there's quite a few too. Look at this. Right. We'll start with the few in here. It's actually a lot more than I thought, to be honest. Okay, let's have a look and see what we have. Now, we will start with Sashiro, the anointed legendary creature, Snake Monk. Other snakes you get, get plus two, plus two. Uh, my deck is a, um, my commander is the Patra. So uh, I should hopefully be making a load of 1-1 snakes um, with Death Touch as I start putting minus one counters all over the place, over my own creatures, over my opponents as well. And the fact that they could possibly be three threes with Death Touch is even better. Whenever a snake you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. This is going to give me huge card draw. Um, it is six mana, but I think we can do it. So that is our first card. Very exciting indeed. Next, we have Blow f Blowfly Infestation. An enchantment for three mana, two and a black. Whenever a creature is put into the graveyard from play, if it had a minus one, minus one counter on it, put a minus one counter on target creature, which is pretty amazing because that will make us some more snakes <laughs> so that is good we've also got a foil one for the badger incremental blight sorcery for five mana three black black put a minus one counter on target creature two minus one counters on another target creature and three minus counters on a third which will make us even more snakes and we had to have one of these uh, i got this in uh, one of my other ed8 stacks it's an amazing card. Epic Struggle. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 20 or more creatures, you win the game. I love alternative win conditions. So that is one of those. And we've also got a few more cards here. So if I can get into these. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely a few. I've got to get into it. Right, here we go. Thank you for sticking me with me. Yeah, there's definitely a few more in here. Good stuff. Okay, let's start with this one. Fantastic, beautiful looking land. Tainted wood. Add one colourless mana to your pool or 
tap it and add black or green play this ability only if you control the swamp beautiful looking land next Phyrexian Hydra it has in fact it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 5 mana 3 green green if damage would be dealt to Phyrexian Hydra prevent that damage put a minus 1 minus 1 counter on the Hydra for each damage prevented this way which then means the damage taken will give us some more snakes thanks to Hepatra Oh, quality. Uh, we've also got a creature, Elemental Rogue, 1-3 for 2 and a black. Uh, corrosive Mentor. Black creatures you control have Wither. Um, they deal damage to creatures in the form of minus 1, minus 1 counters. Making some more snakes. And we've got a couple more cards. Two more cards to go. Necro Skitter for 1 black black. It has Wither. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls with a minus one minus one counter on it is put into the graveyard, you may return that card to play under your control. This could be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Wither and get rid of their creatures, get some snakes, have their things as well. And our final card, Creekwood Liege. It's a horror. It is four, four mana. Uh, we've got hybrid, black or green. And then an additional one, four in total, a 2-2 two, two horror. But it says, uh, the creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Uh, black creatures and other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a 1-1 one, one black and green worm creature in, uh, onto the battlefield. Which will then technically make it 3-3 three, three each turn. That is pretty damn good. And obviously it will also pump up our snakes. And that is a good thing too. So our snakes could possibly, just with a couple of the cards here, actually be uh, four fours. If we happen to have Creek called Liege out, and also Shira the Anointed. So uh, there we have it. That is the mail. Really, really pleased about that. Uh, pretty surprised that I got the uh, Price of Glory turn up so fast. I actually thought it was going to be another selection of uh, Golgari stuff. But there we have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know what you think of these cards in particular. And also, if you have done a minus counters kind of thing um, with Patra or another commander, and you would like to inform me of some cards that maybe I should have that I don't, please let me know. Other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Oh, and we've got some good stuff coming up very shortly. Um, Pre-release, War the Spark. I'm going to be going to the midnight one. It is going to be fantastic, I am sure. I will probably get home at 4 o'clock in the morning, but I am planning to film it. Which then means, Badge, you get the chance to see some foil planeswalkers. Oh yes. And we'll get that on the channel as early as we can, once I've had a few hours sleep. Uh, Saturday morning, and uh, you can go check it out. We will have an unboxing of War of the Spark pre-release pack, which is going to be fantastic. So, other than that, I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon here on Cardboard Badger.